Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm now healthier postpartum because of Alpha Project. I met Alpha Project, um, Matt actually went to my gym, I go to CrossFit Frederick, and he was in there, I had seen him a few times, and I was in there training for a competition last March. The competition was in April, but I was talking to him in March. Um, I had been going to PT for my knee already, because I've been having chronic knee pain. And I, he was like, oh, really, well, like, what have they done? What are the issues you're having? And as I talked to him, he's like, I can fix your knee, because all that stuff that they're doing is not gonna work. So that's how I met him, and then I went and I had my eval, you know, a couple weeks later. And then um, by the competition, I was pretty much pain-free, even though I hadn't finished the cycle, like I wasn't 100% pain-free, but I got through the competition without any major issues at all. So I felt pretty good not to have to worry, because I was actually going to the competition pretty worried about my knee. Um, so I originally came to Alpha Project for my knee, and then right after the competition, which was April 30th of last year, I found out I was pregnant, so I still had some sessions left and you know Matt and I were still working on my knee. So I was finishing as many sessions as I could. Um, unfortunately, I ended up having hyperemesis when I was pregnant. So um, I was really, really, really sick. So I didn't quite finish out all of my sessions with Matt because I just physically could, I was just too sick. Um, but when I told him I was pregnant, he was like, oh, my fiance, now wife Veronica, he's like, you know, she does pelvic floor and we just started a baby or a, a birthing, class like a birth session thing so I was like oh okay so um, she texted me about it and we talked and then I came in for the eval for that and obviously did that through my whole pregnancy and then of course now postpartum well part I mean I love CrossFit one because I like the style of workout it's not you don't just go sit at a machine and do all of your sets and your reps and then go to the next one and it takes you you know five hours to get a good workout in you get in there you do your workout it's you know, in a sense, constantly varied. Because even though you might, you know, do back squats, you're gonna do your wad, which could be more running focused or more cardio focused, you know, or speed focused. And then other wads are more like focus on your technique, don't worry about your time. But I also love the community. Like I, um, I started going to CrossFit Frederick in 2020 after everything opened, you know, with the pandemic. And I've formed a family there. Like my CrossFit community really is like a family to me, like a second family. Um, so I started working with Dr. Veronica at Alpha Project because I was pregnant and I knew that pelvic floor therapy would help me have an easier pregnancy and an easier birth and not have so many complications in the birthing process. Originally saw Dr. Veronica before she worked with Alpha Project um, because I had pelvic floor dysfunction, I had a lot of pain and so I saw her with that and then being pregnant some of those issues that I some of the issues that I had before can crop up again because of the stress that pregnancy puts on your body. So I came to her mainly to make sure that those didn't come up again, and that way I could just mitigate any issues that would arise through the pregnancy and then obviously the birthing process. And I didn't have any of those issues come up again while I was pregnant or so far postpartum. So since having my son, so working with um, Dr. Veronica, I knew postpartum what I needed to do in those early days to start reconnecting my abs, because obviously diastasis is a big concern postpartum as well as leaking. Um, and I did text her once or twice um, during postpartum before my initial visit, just because I had a couple questions. But um, I don't have any leaking postpartum like most mothers have. And um, I was able to reconnect my abs and I have a very small diastasis that will heal with proper uh, lifting techniques. I don't have to have any major anything. Um, it's worth it. I know that the fact that they don't take insurance is a concern to some people, but I think the fact that they don't take insurance gives them the opportunity to actually serve you better. Because I went to uh, pelvic, I'm sorry, I went to physical therapy for my knee twice and they didn't fix my knee. And I came here once and my knee is fixed. So it's 100% worth every single penny. And of course now with Dr. Veronica, like anybody who needs pelvic floor, I'm like, just go see her. Don't even monkey with anybody else. <laughs> My name is Dr. Veronica and I am a pelvic floor physical therapist at Alpha Project Physio. I became a pelvic floor physical therapist because the topic always just naturally interested me. I first heard about it in college when my roommate actually went to pelvic floor physical therapy. She had um, endometriosis and she had really bad pelvic pain and she said it helped her a lot and I was like, wow, that sounds like a cool way to help people, like I would maybe do that one day. 
And then um, it just kept being a natural interest of mine and I saw the opportunity to fall right into it and um, took courses to learn more about it and I've been in love with it ever since. I treat basically everybody. I treat um, women and men and I also treat some kids too. I treat people who have any type of leakage, who have any um, pregnancy or postpartum issues that can include prolapse, that can include diastasis recti. And I also treat anybody who has any pain or discomfort with intimacy. I do treat more women than men. Um, the bulk of my caseload is women. And then I do, have, I do have about four men that I'm treating currently right now and they all have some pelvic pain. For any women or men who are having problems with your pelvic floor, I would say definitely get started on pelvic floor physical therapy um, because there's, there's no reason to wait. I would say just get the help that you need right now. If you're not sure if um, pelvic floor physical therapy is for you, then I would encourage you to give us a call and just do a complimentary phone call with us and we can dive deeper and figure out like, do we think that Alpha Project Physio is for you or if not, where um, do we think that you could go next in order to get the help that you need. A session with me, um, the initial assessment with me, the evaluation, what we do is I look at people both externally and internally so externally, I wanna look at your low back, I wanna look at your hips, I wanna look at your core and see what all the areas around your pelvic floor are doing externally. And then also I look at people internally as long as they're comfortable with it. And internally, I can assess, assess the tone of your muscles. So like are your pelvic floor muscles really tight and that's causing pain or issues like urgency? Um, or are they lower tone and they need to be strengthened more? Internally, I also look at strength of the pelvic floor. I can directly assess that and give you um, direct feedback about how that is. And then for uh, females, I can assess for any prolapsing. I started seeing Liz at Alpha Project Physio when she was pregnant with her baby. And um, we worked on a couple different concerns. We worked on her diastasis recti that was appearing and um, really worked on activating her core properly and made sure that we applied that to her CrossFit workouts. And we also worked on preparing her for the whole birthing process, which is what a lot of um, women who are pregnant are very interested in pelvic floor PT. They wanna make sure they have a good birthing process and that they're prepared for it. Um, especially women with a history of pelvic floor tightness, um, making sure that we know how to relax the muscles and um, allow for the birthing process to go well and allow for the baby to come out and relax the muscles and then also know how to strengthen them too so that it won't uh, result in any leakage or prolapsing postpartum. At Alpha Project Physio, we always have one-on-one -on -one sessions with our patients and that is really important because then we can give them the hands-on attention that they need. And today I gave Liz a lot of attention with making sure that she was bracing her core properly when doing CrossFit lifts, including deadlifting and squatting. And that is really important to um, have that one-on-one -on -one attention where I can make sure that she is engaging her core properly throughout the whole lift and not losing that engagement um, throughout part of it because losing, losing that abdominal activation during a lift can result in prolapsing. It can result in leakage where you're not protecting the pelvic floor and the structures around it. If you like this video, please watch our other YouTube videos. Check out our Alpha Project Physio channel. We have a lot of valuable content on there that can help you, especially if you are a runner, a CrossFitter, an active person, please check out our other videos. But if you are more interested in solving your problem for good and really motivated, you can check out our website linked below, alphaprojectphysio.com, where you can reach out to us and find out more about what we do and how we help our runners and athletes. And if you are, again, on our website, interested in working with us, we have a bunch of eBooks you can download if you are a runner, you have pelvic floor problems, if you are a CrossFit athlete, someone active, and you wanna find out more about what you have going on and kind of where your body is, you can check out those eBooks that will tell you a lot of valuable information. But again, please check out our website and looking forward to talking with you soon.